People are distraught. And I'll, again, one year on, repeat the case of Finiz in my electorate. Still no visa. Her baby's turning one in July. I've written to three successive ministers about Finiz's case, but still no visa. Her husband, the father of the child, has never met the child except on WhatsApp. She works at a law firm. She pays taxes. She suffered from depression. She's now written to me, and I'll quote, this week, we need a timeline. We need to plan our life. Even though Iran is not a safe country, but I miss my husband and we need to plan something else. Even if it's taking a couple of more years for him to get here, we might need to go somewhere and stay there and build our life in another country. We can't keep waiting for this visa. It's heartbreaking how my husband missed all my pregnancy and the whole year our daughter was born. I know someone who was from the UK and applied in April 2021 and got their visa granted in five weeks. They are not processing it in order, as the government claims. I believe they're processing it based on the race, and this is dis disrespectful and discriminatory. And so I ask the Minister, will you end this discrimination against people like Finiz and the tens of thousands of people around the country who happen to fall in love with someone who's not from a nice, white, English-speaking country? The facts are, the facts are, this is a map. This shows you order, the order. average... The average Drops waiting time, the average waiting time, if you fall in love with someone, all of the government members are saying this is not true. This is the government's own data. If you fall in love with someone from the UK or the USA or Germany, you get your visa in an average of seven to nine months. If you commit the great sin of falling in love with someone from China or from India, it's at least 18 months and often more. Why do you discriminate against people who fall in love with people from China and India? And then. Then there's Afghanistan. I mean, they yell and they scream. These are their own facts, their own data. If you fall in love with someone from Afghanistan, it takes on average 43 months. A country, a country that is so unsafe that the government's pulled out every diplomat from order, that country. Order, order. Can the government's the pulled out every diplomat from order. Afghanistan. Can I say to the members that whilst the member is entitled to be heard in silence, this is not a backwards and forwards debating chamber. Understood? Every Thanks. diplomat has been pulled out because of security in Afghanistan, and yet the government has nothing to say to Australians whose husbands, wives and children are there fearing for their life. Absolutely disgraceful. So I ask the minister, when will this discrimination end and what possible explanation is there that that is the average processing time? I'm not talking about the outlier cases with complex identification. I get that. This is the average processing time under this government and it's not a COVID thing. You can't hide behind COVID. This is eight years of data. Final thing I'll say, for 300 visa holders, fiancés are family too. These are genuine relationships, often years and years. And yet there are thousands of people who are separated from their partners because they're not married. They've applied, they might have got the visa, but they're not getting in. There are genuine religious and cultural reasons why many people won't physically live together for 12 months before marriage. So I say to the minister, when will 300 visa holders be able to come and get married? Can you guarantee also that decisions in your department, this is this minister's responsibility, are tra uh, for travel authorisations are being made consistently? because we keep hearing instances of inconsistent application where a few random people get the authorisation and everyone else doesn't.